told somebody you need to have receipts. I have my receipts. Everybody that knows me knows I don't lie. I'm a man. I stand on what I say. <coughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. Hi, guys. First off, let's go ahead and talk about Down Syndrome Danny DeVito looking motherfucker. Look, Cashville, you a motherfucking snake, okay? Like, I fucked with one song of yours and tried to help you here and there, but that's about as far as it goes. And then I found out you shit talked my brother Sean Paris because Sean doesn't agree with forced gangbangs and non consensual sex. Are you, are you fucking with me right now? Like, you literally told my brother that you were going to put an end to his career and he'd never be able to show his face in Nashville ever again. Well, what comes around goes around, motherfucker. We'll go ahead and throw up one more. Why not? So let me see if I understand this correctly. You think I'm going to go ahead and compromise my career as a legitimate comedian and author to go ahead and write a tell-all book about Ryan Upchurch for you because obviously that's a cease and desist letter I want to get in the mail and you think I'm going to go ahead and compromise this for some over-the-hill fat piece of shit burnout who wheezes through every single roast video he makes where I can practically smell the monster energy and diabetes sweat through the screen? Now, I was on tour when this happened, but everybody went ahead and sent me screenshots of it. And yes, I did make an Instagram story about it. But when Jelly Roll got booked on Jimmy Kimmel Live, scoring massive points for the country rap scene, your dumb ass went over on Instagram, talked about, congrats to Jelly Roll, even though I used to hit him in the face. Dog, you ain't never kicked nobody's ass. Even with a motherfucking prosthetic leg and six months of free goddamn yoga classes, you still wouldn't even be able to kick your own fat fucking ass. Shut the fuck up, dog. Bruh, you an out-of-shape, has-been, lying-ass motherfucker. You the type of first-rate cuck who walks into a barber shop just so you can beg somebody to pull your fucking hair. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but you're the same motherfucker who used to share a suite of offices with Jelly Roll and a couple other rappers, right? And y'all used to go on tour back in the day in an old broken down fucking van, and then they threw you out of their little fucking group for stealing from them, right? That was you, wasn't it? Real personal with it. Your wife looks like Elliot Page's latest lover. You out here talking mad shit about Johnny Goebbels' old lady and everybody else's significant other, and your bitch looks like she sings Desposito at church socials. Fuck out of here with your bullshit, Johnny. You posting pics on your Instagram where it looks like you tongue-kissing a goddamn Jonas brother, bruh. And then making fun of everybody else? Are you fucking, are you serious? Are you fucking with me right now? You the type of motherfucker who need to learn how to practice Sharia law so you don't die of high cholesterol. You know what? I shouldn't even fucking hold back right now. Because you didn't when you and Johnny Goble got into it. Paying people to put turkeys on his front lawn. Having him so fucking terrified he kept his kids up all night and everything to make sure his fucking family was safe. Yeah, he's a goddamn meth head and a loser. Supposedly reformed, whatever the fuck that means. But you know what? There's boundaries in this shit. I ought to list the address. That'd be fucked up, wouldn't it, Ryan Bridge, a.k.a. Johnny Cashville? You offer that 5K to me, I promise you, I'll show up, sweetheart. Look, Bubba, this is my dick. This is my belly. My belly don't hang over my dick. Since you're so interested in my dick. On second thought, better make that 10K. Your neighbor can shut me up. Your neighbor can shut me up. You're really killing it, this being a manager thing. Upchurch fires your ass, then Austin Foreman. Oh, four tracks out here giving out party favors. And you better hope to God you find someone who knows how to use auto tune for her. Sound like the voice, Indonesia. Fight. And in case any of my subscribers are wondering why I haven't posted any videos regarding the Kylie Rodney case, uh, it's because 
I'm not out here capitalizing on the grief a family is going through at the experience of losing a loved one, and I'm not converting my channel to a sad attempt at a true crime podcast in an effort to keep myself relevant. numbers to my and shit about my girl okay no, I did not. I i'll tell you he did though i got it on camera go ahead pull it up pull it, pull i got it, it on up. camera bro pull it up i'm not on the computer with it i got three different computers since i'm because broke the fact you're talking about an individual by the name of ben from totally offensive comedy who's an investigative reporter who and gave an interview to bethany the cancer patient that you're talking about yeah, exactly exactly he's the one who put that information out there Exactly. He, wrote it in a zip file. he put it in a zip file and put it in the description of his interview with Bethany and told everybody, if you want the information, all his personal information is there. Go get it. Hey, look. You see that? You see that? Come on. Yeah, go ahead and sue me, you fat fucking pygmy. You fucking plagiarist dwarf motherfucker. You ain't ever done anything original or done anything worthwhile a day in your motherfucking life. Keep talking shit. Austin Trevor Dawson sweet like I don't know who the fuck you are or where you're from or like I can't find you like that you tiny pygmy bitch you sad excuse for a man even the one song no life shack reacted to of yours is a song you fucking paid him to react to and you didn't even write the lyrics to the song you went live one night and your viewers went ahead and recounted their experiences regarding sexual assault and then you copied down the their experiences almost word for word and turned it into a fucking song nothing about you is original or worthwhile, you junkie piece of shit. Yo, and riddle me this, baby Dawson. How the fuck are you going to go ahead and sue somebody when you have an active bench warrant in the state of Indiana for driving with a suspended fucking license? Yo, baby dick, guess who's calling the courthouse in Hammond, Indiana tomorrow and giving them your current address so they can collect on those fucking fines? Yeah, go ahead and sue me with your no job, no car, no driver's license having ass. Flawless victory.